We need to do everything physically possible to keep that all out of our marshlands. It is catastrophic. They're really putting us out of business. As the sun shines down from the skies, I feel the tears clouding up in my eyes. If we don't make attempts to get this all out quickly, I think every day we leave it in there could be months or even years of killing the breeding grounds. The fishing, oystering, shrimp, crap, with this all spill, how are we going to do this? We ain't going to be able to do this no more. I, I, I see this going, I see this going downhill as our way of life. People don't realize exactly how bad this thing is, you know? So if it gets into our estuaries, which is getting in already, I mean, it's a done deal. Quit the blame game and let's get it done. I would like to be a fisherman when I grow up, but if I couldn't, I wouldn't know what to do because I've been doing it my whole life. And uh, without United Way in our community, uh, we wouldn't be whole. Just small acts of kindness, a little food, a pat on the back, someone to talk to can make all the difference in the world in situations like we're going through now, not knowing our future. As a fisherman myself, I know exactly the position these guys are in when we had the Exxon Valdez spill in Alaska, where I've lived for 23 years. We're all fishermen, we're all in the same community, whether it's shrimp, crab, fish, it doesn't matter. So it's an honor for us to be able to come and, and you know, share some of that with, with somebody and hopefully uh, you know, raise some money and, and raise some spirits at the same time. It's, it's an honor for us to even be able to show up, be present, just and help out in some, some little way. I got two mottos I live by now. One is live to fish, fish to live, and live united.